Hello there Geek Lab lovers, it's your pal Al here once again and today, well, I've been, uh, I've been working on a documentary, it's about BBSs but that's not why I'm making today's video. Today's video, well, I thought I'd print out my first draft of the script and I thought, well, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it proper retro style. So behind me, on this beautiful sunny day, I have... Yes, yeah, so sorry about the light. I have this um, Star Micronics NX1000 color. Bit of a bash there. Color, spelt the right way for those of you in America. <laughs> uh, this lovely NX1000 color printer with high speed dot matrix color printer. 144 characters per second and 36 characters per second NLQ. NLQ, near letter quality. Oh yeah. Seven color printing, eight built in, it says build in, eight built in NLQ fonts, paper parking mechanism, convenient push button control panel, tractor and friction feeds as standard. Wow. So this bad boy here, I'm gonna see if it works. Now, it's in pretty good nick. I've, uh, I've not opened it properly, but I had a quite a, a, just a really quick look when I opened the box. On the top, I don't know if you can make out, but it has, turn around this way, it has a sticker here from Commodore. Commodore Computer New Zealand Limited. I didn't even know that Commodore did anything in New Zealand, but there you go. 250 Forest Hill Road, Takapuna, Auckland, New Zealand. There you go. And this was, the label's printed in, uh, in Dot Matrix, which is good. I picked this up in the recent uh, computer warehouse sale that was up in Auckland um, in July, which I've done a separate video off, so if you've seen my video or if you've not seen my video I should say then go ahead and look at that now all right so let's let's get this bad boy opened up and see if we can actually make it print uh, potentially 25 30 years after it was first made um, I did notice inside that there is potentially a bunch of goodies which might might make that a possibility but I have never actually taken the things out of this box so I will consider this video an unboxing for those purposes it is new to me all right let's get started let's get it unboxed box has seen better days but it has been delivered quite a few places but it's still in its bag which is always a good sign Some sort of turning wheel. I think that's for the side. Oh, got that. 240 volts, that's the one. Aha, perfect. I need this. That's the Centronics to parallel printer cable. Good. That's vital. Okay, well, I think it's it's been around an office or something like that because it's definitely stained. It needs a bit of retro brighting love or some description, but there you go, there's the paper holder. It's definitely been used, which is sad, but hey, it's in pretty good condition and uh, it's got everything. It's got the cables and the user manual, of course, as well. So there you go, adjusting the printing gap, the dip switch settings. Technical specific, they just don't build manuals like this anymore. Look, this is the nice card at the end, the user's guide. The different print settings you can have. Quad size printing, all the different colors, wonderful. Okay, that's, that's that box. On with the printer itself. Oh, no, there's another little goodie down here. Oh ho ho! Now we're talking. The full mark nylon printer ribbon for use on the Star NX 1000. 
Now that may mean that I can print all these 25 years after the use of, or the, um, the original use of this printer. So, yes. Any other goodies down here? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, time to take the printer out. Now, I am familiar with this printer because when I was at school, I used this printer on a BBC Micro. I'm almost definite of that fact, so there we go. So it's a bit grubby, let us see, and it's definitely quite yellow. It looks like it's already got a ribbon on it as well. So I'll give that one a shot first, but I dare say that'll have corroded completely over the years. But there we are. A lovely little star NX1000 color. So I'm going to see if this one works. I expect this to absolutely not work, but I'll chance my luck with this little bad boy. And um, we'll see, we'll just test it out and see if it works, eh? Here goes nothing. Well, it makes a lot of noise, but let's put a piece of paper in and see what happens. So, holding down shift, print screen. Well, hey. Well, there we go. Paper feed. Works like a charm. Obviously, the uh, ink cartridge, or the, not the ink cartridge, but the, I guess the ink, I suppose. It's not exactly very easy to see. So I'm going to change it over to the new cartridge and. Uh, and see how that goes. Hopefully this has never been used. Oh, maybe it has. It's a color one. So I'm gonna switch this off. Pull this out. It comes out pretty easily. There's the black one. It came out so easily. It's always the thing. As things come out easily and then putting them back in can sometimes be the hard part. So if I just turn this bit here and that tightens it up a bit. There we go. I think that's all there is to it with these. It's been a while. Let's see if we can uh, we can get it to go in a different font. Courier, sans serif, italic. God, it's loud. Orator. Courier. Near letter quality type style. I'm just gonna print over what I've got already. Saving the planet one page at a time online. So it double writes on this NLQ. It's not bad. Very slow. How did it do that? <laughs> Online. Beautiful. And there you go, the Star NX 1000. Really lovely printer and it works just perfect. So there you go. Don't even need a cartridge for it. Brilliant.